is unclean to you. The Most High God said the swine is unclean to us. All right, go ahead with the next verse. Verse 8. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. The Most High God said of their swine, of their pig, of their pork, he said of their flesh shall ye not eat, and of their carcass shall ye not touch. The Most High God don't even want us touching the dead bodies of these pigs. But here it is, we ingesting them. We eating them. That bacon tastes good till you find out that you got counsel. And that's why it happened. Because we breaking that commandment. That gave provision and protection. You got more? That's it on that one, verse 9. Verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. So the Most High God, he said, if you're going to eat any, any seafood, if it come out the water, it's supposed to have fins and scales. So catfish is unclean because it got fins, but it don't have scales. A lot of people wonder why you have cancer. Them crab legs, that lobster, that crawfish, those shrimp that you love to eat so much, bottom feeders. And if you didn't know, shrimp, are, are like the, the sea roaches. But because we consume the unclean things, we get punished for it. Go to Revelation. Give me that Revelation 20. All right, so we are here to teach the word of God for those who will listen in these last days. The window of mercy and grace is closing up. The window of the Most High allowing you to get back with your sin it's closing up, sisters. It's closing up, brothers. Where we at? Right here. Verse 8, 21. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 21, and verse 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable. Fearful, unbelieving, and abominable. What about them? Go ahead and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. This is the second death. This is the second death. So the fearful, those who say, no, I don't want to represent God. I'm ashamed to God. You're going to be in the lake of fire and brimstone. That's right. Because instead of representing the most high, you chose to represent Satan. Mm. It's only two masters, man. Right. He said the abominable mm -hmm. said they're not going to make it into New Jerusalem or heaven. And you become abominable by eating abominable things. That's right. Which is swine, pork, shrimp, crabs, and lobster. And all this other stuff. Let me see what else we got on that. Okay, go to 21 to 1. There's a book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth for, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And there was no more sea. All right, so that's what we're striving for. That's why we are to warn the people. Don't get settled on this earth. Go to uh, 1 John 2. Don't be so focused on this world. Trying to live forever in this world. Why would you even want to? Did you know that they got an organization called NAMBLA? N-A-M-B-L-A. North American Man Boy Lover Association. Where the pedophiles, they fight for their rights. They got things in place in order for them to be able to carry out their pleasures. To fund your son or your daughter. That's here in this country. So why would we want to cleave to this time? Why would we want these times to extend? Now this place has been built on bloodshed, bribery, lies, rape, rob, and pillage, everything that's ungodly. You think that, that the judge downtown got more sense in his head to that if you commit a crime, he gonna punish you? And you think the most high God ain't got the mind to say the same thing? 
You think mankind is outsmarted the most high? How foolish are you? Hold it and give me Psalm 14 and 1. A lot of people even nowadays don't think that the, so, the most high God I exists. Go ahead. There's a book of Psalms, chapter 14 and verse 1. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. The fool said in his heart that there is no God. We're going to tell you what the Bible said. Man, you a fool if you think that the Most High God don't exist. Then you got some who you believe that the Most High God exists, but you still foolish because you try to say, well, it's a heaven for everybody, but don't nobody go to hell. I had somebody to tell me that, man. You think Satan ain't real? You think the wicked one don't exist? You fooled again. Go ahead, King. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. There is none that doeth good. And we living in the last days. Let me know uh, Isaiah 5 and 20. We living in a time where they saying that to do good, that means you lame. That means you wet. But if you do evil, man, you popping. That's what's up. You cool. You got that drip now. All right, but following these crowds and following these trends, you're going to be led into a trap that you can't escape. And that's the lake of fire and brimstone. It's more, it's more that comes after you die. When you take your last breath, that ain't it, man. That's right. That's not the end when you take your last breath. You got to give account for how you lived your life. And to be a woman thinking you're a man, guess what? If you don't repent for that, you're going to burn in hell. That's right. If you're a man... Thinking that you're a woman and you want to lay down with another man, and you don't repent, you're going to burn in hell, man. That's right. What I tell you to get? Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 20. Come. Alright. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 5 and verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. The Most High God said, Woe or destruction to the person that called good evil and evil good. Just like a lot of your favorite rappers and celebrities. A lot of these people have been set up to be a distraction to lead the masses. Right. They've been raised up as idols to direct and funnel the sheep to slaughter. You're trying to follow after this man. These folks practicing seances and being witches and warlocks. That ain't just music that you're listening to in your car. That ain't just music that's coming from your TV. Understand that it's something spiritual. Give me all uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 33. Words are spirit, man. Just like if you call a man out of his name, you disrespect him, call him a female dog. He'll be moved so much to want to put hands on you if he can restrain himself. So words go deep. You might tell this woman that she, you call her out of her mind. She'll remember that for the rest of her life and be hurt. Words go deeper, even deeper than what hands can do. What was you got, King? 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Be not deceived, brothers. Evil communication corrupt good manners. You listen to that shoot them, shoot them, shoot them enough. You listen to that pop that pill, sip that lean enough, guess what you're going to do? You're going to start doing it. You listen to that, my girl got a girlfriend. Or I don't trust none of these females. You're going to think that that's the life you should live. It's trustworthy women out here. Just like it's trustworthy men out here. And the majority of the time, those are them who lining themselves up with the Most High God, who conscious of what's going to happen if they're not trustworthy. Uh, but then you have a wife and you end up cheating on your wife because you've been listening to Future. Meanwhile, he putting out all these songs, but he at home cut it up with his wife all the time. Two chains at home, very faithful to his wife. But you didn't listen to his song so much, now you didn't broke wedlock. Now your wife suing you for infidelity. Wow. 
Now you finna go through the court system. You gotta go to the silver courts. Because two chains was who you listened to more than the most high God. What we got? Go to Exodus 20, King. Living in a time where evil is being promoted as the best thing going. It's not. The world full of wicked people. Now, I'm going to tell you now. It's, it's going to be a smaller amount of people that make it to the kingdom than those that go to hell. Why? Because people have not made a conscious decision about their soul. You got to make a conscious decision about your soul, man. Brother and sister. Who you going to serve today? And I ain't talking about who you going to serve on the block with the sack or the bag, man. I'm talking about who you going to give your life to. What I tell you to get? Come, come. Uh, let's get with, uh, I want that thou shalt not covet. But let's go with thou shalt not steal. This is the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 15. Thou shalt not steal. The most high God commanded us. He said, thou shalt not steal. That's a commandment. But like what we read earlier in 2 Timothy 3, people not practicing or not being able to control themselves. You will end up stealing something from somebody. But how righteous is that? How would you feel if somebody stole something from you? You woke up this morning and said, listen, I'm finna go holler at my kinfolk now. You come outside and your car gone. And it's the same if you steal somebody's car or steal anything else from them. A cone, even. Go ahead, King. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 16. Come, come. So what we're doing here, warning you about what the Most High God said. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 16. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. So many people have lied on other people, saying you saw them do this and saw them do that. And that led to that person's demise. Let's go back even with what has happened with the country. People being, our people, being put into jail because some white lady lied, said uh, it was Emmett Till. Said that he tried to do something to him. Or let's go back to to uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, mm. with Black Wall Street. Yes, the whole thing popped off because this white lady said a young brown man said in the elevator he pushed up against her. And from that, you had the U.S. Army, we talking about the U.S. military on U.S. soil, bomb out of neighborhood. What you know about that? A lot of people don't care. It ain't for you then. I see you, brother. But because a false witness said that something happened. Said over a thousand so-called black people were killed that day. When we had our own neighborhood, our own community, might as well call our own city, where the money just turned over to black people. You make clothes. You come spend money with me, because I got the fabric. I spend my money with the next brother to take my children to their daycare. Then we had doctors and lawyers and all that taking care of our own people, self-sustained. But the world didn't like that. All right, so but we're here to let you know we as Israelites, we got to come back to that mindset. We got to keep God's commandments in the faith of Hamashiach or the Messiah. That's right. That's how we return to our true state of royalty. Instead of being out, we killing, over, killing one another for colors. We killing one another for crimes. Oh, yeah, okay. 17 now? Okay. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 17. 